folks and welcome to Hammer Down Paintball, your source for outstanding paintball content. My nickname is Thor and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for your continued and ongoing support. I really do appreciate it. I cut a lot of footage from this round because I was just sitting waiting for one of my opponents to start shooting so that that would give me their position. And there you go. That's exactly what I was waiting for. I'll just go ahead and fast forward this a little bit here, but as I do, I'll let you know that I do know generally where Iceman is because I also heard him shooting. I just haven't gotten a visual yet. I heard something in this direction, so I decided to go check it out. <laughs> and there you go. I just saw Iceman poke his head up just a little bit there. But it wasn't enough for a clean shot, so I kept the element of surprise. So I'll take this opportunity to explain the difference between cover and concealment. Cover is something that you can hide behind that will stop paintballs. Concealment is just something that you can hide behind that will impair your opponent's ability to see you. So don't rely on concealment for cover. So now I'm going to attempt to get a better angle on Iceman. So pay attention to the center of that red circle. That's the paintball in mid-flight, and I'm going to slow it down frame for frame. Holy man, that was close. So look closely at that red circle, you'll be able to see the paintball go through the air. Wow, that was really close too. So as I said, don't rely on concealment as cover. So I decided to get out of there. Did you hear all that shooting? He must have thought I was still in that other position and he was trying to shoot me through the bush. But that's great news for me because now I know I have the element of surprise again. I'll go ahead and fast forward this again. And I'd like to quickly mention that you as my viewers are seeing this field for the first time in this video. And this is the field that me, Chaos, and Iceman built. So stay tuned this field will get better and you'll see it grow as well. It's always best if you're hiding behind a thick tree or bush to look through the bush rather than around it whenever possible. That way you can maintain good concealment. So someone mentioned something about my last video about us taking our masks off while we're still on the field. So just an FYI, nobody at our field takes their mask off until we all know that the round is over and safeties are on. But if you're at a local field, follow the rules of your local field and don't take your mask off until they say that you can. <laughs> so I just caught Iceman trying to make his way down that side of the field and I decided to circle around this way and hopefully come up on his rear flank. So 
So it's not always a good idea to just charge in, so I decided to stop here and check out things from this angle first. And it's a good thing I did because a nice opportunity presented itself. So the total distance on this shot is at least 80 feet and I had to shoot between those two trees and normally I wouldn't take a high risk shot like this but I just couldn't resist the awesome factor. So thank you very much folks for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. If you have any questions, comments or concerns or some cool stories or maybe some tricks and tips of your own, please share them in the comments down below. I'd really love to hear from you. And as for all of you, get out there and paint some faces and tell them that one's for your buddy Thor. And by the way, don't ever underestimate Iceman's size. He got that name for a reason.